Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Guess what happens in two days from now? It's National Hummus Day. So instead of doing a classic hummus with garbanzo beans or chickpeas and tahini and lemon juice and hot sauce and all that other stuff you already know, I'm gonna do a truffled edamame hummus featuring wild mushrooms, soybeans, truffle oil. Uh, we're gonna cream it up a little bit with some mayonnaise and I'm gonna show you how to make some root vegetable chips. I took a taro root and I sliced it thin with my trusty mandolin and I'm soaking them in beet juice so that when I fry them, they're gonna be the redder, the better. What do you say I show you how to fry some chips? So first, I have some taro root chips that I soaked in beet juice for about an hour now. I'm gonna spill out the juice because we don't want the juice in my fry later. So we're gonna drain it out. When we fry these, they're gonna be that nice, bright red. Come, come with me. So we're gonna put our basket, it's 300 degrees. I've already started frying chips. I made some potato chips. I made the other half of the taro root that's not red. So we have some contrast colors. Now we're gonna take these and pop them in there one at a time. Yeah, you're gonna have some bubbles. That's just cause there's liquid. There's liquid going into the fryer later, so you're gonna have some bubbles. We're gonna move the chips around so they don't stick to each other. Because when they stick, the parts that stick don't fry crispy. So we're gonna give it just a little bit of moving around here so that they separate while they're cooking. All right, so that's gonna, that's gonna take about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. While that's happening, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make hummus. We're gonna take our roasted wild mushrooms. We're gonna take our mayonnaise. About two heaping tablespoons. We're gonna take our truffle oil. About that much. Salt, of course. The mushrooms have already been seasoned, so we don't want to go crazy with the salt. We do a little bit, we taste it, we do a little bit more if we need it. We're gonna pop our soybeans in the blender as well. And then we're gonna turn it on. Let's let's take a look, see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We don't want to puree it too much because you want to you want to preserve the texture of the soybeans. That's what's going to make this different from any other hummus. Also, the truffle oil, the mushrooms, and we're not using garbanzo beans. But this particular one, we want to have some crunch. Our chips are ready. Look at those, golden red. They would be golden brown, but I got them red. Just want to move the stuff around, make sure that everything's pureed into it. And it is. So now it's time to make it pretty. I put a couple soybeans on there so you know what it is. Now we're going to take our chips in a bowl, a couple of the others. And of course, you can use corn chips, you can use flour tortillas, you can grill some bread, you grill some crusty baguette. You don't necessarily have to use chips. We're gonna season these with a little bit of salt. Give it a toss, a little bit more. And we just lay them all around. Get some potatoes in there. And then, there you have it. National Hummus Day in two days from now is complete. Truffled edamame hummus.